So in these videos, I'm talking about racial stress injury as a form of trauma. Now I want to define what trauma is, race-based trauma is, okay? So uh, this is taken from Robert T. Carter, 2016. He says, for trauma to be present, the reactions need to be associated with symptoms of intrusion. So that's the idea of an overstepping of boundaries. Like, no, you've gone too far. Like, I feel really uncomfortable. Perhaps when a conversation is brought up about race, about George Floyd, for instance, in a meeting, and, you know, an ethnic minority isn't prepared for that conversation. It's an overstepping of boundaries. It is also associated with avoidance. So, you know, that's like thinking, you know, I don't want to deal with this right now as the ethnic minority. I don't want to deal with this right now. Can we please change the topic? So perhaps, again, there's a conversation about race, but this person just cannot deal with that in the moment. So they want to avoid it. And arousal. So that's, you know, this arousal of um, anger, of, a, you know, these very strong feelings and emotions. So, you know, that was very offensive. I can't believe you said that. So the reactions may be exhibited emotionally, um, physiologically, cognitively, behaviorally, or in combination. One may express the trauma through anxiety, anger, rage, depression, low self-esteem, shame, and guilt. So again, that's taken from Robert T. Carter. So race-based trauma stress injury is very real 